First guest bathroom essential that I added were these dollar store white storage bins that I found. They're miniature so they can fit in a drawer. And then these mini bottles, I just went to Target and looked in their little travel section and grabbed some things that I find myself needing when I'm in other people's houses. And sometimes I'm a little bit embarrassed. So I grabbed some travel toothbrushes and left them in the package and they can fold down and be taken with them very easily. And then some toothpaste and makeup removers. And then a mini bottle of dry shampoo, hairspray, mouthwash, lotion, some fabric softener to wrinkle release, and a lint roller. I laid those guys in the bin and then even when I got to the drawer, I could utilize some of the space that is already in there. And you just do that accordingly to the size of your drawer, obviously. Those are gonna hide in the drawer because they're not aesthetically pleasing, but these guys are. So I just bought this tray from Home Goods, and then I utilized some matches that were in a glass jar. I threw some Q-tips into a small glass jar that I had on hand and did the same with some cotton swabs. And then this cool thumbs up is actually from Home Depot. Those are trickled throughout the bathroom and it brings it together for decor and then obviously a good smelling candle. Now to let the guests know where everything's at, I just had this little tiny frame on hand for years and I'd printed out missing something. Top right drawer is gonna be your essentials. I did this next DIY to really just fulfill the Pinterest girl in me. I had this dry eucalyptus on hand, rope and scissors and decided to bundle it all together at the stems, tie a knot, wrap the rope around each side to make it look a little bit more thick. Tie a knot to the back with some excess string hanging. At the tips of the excess string that is hanging off, you want to tie a knot that creates a loop that you can easily fit over your shower head. You will deal with that glass sliding door in a second, but like I said, you're just gonna take that loop that you tied with the excess string and wrap it right around the shower head and it will sit nice and pretty. I may not have the budget to replace that ugly shower door, but I do have the budget to purchase two shower curtains that are the same and glue them together. For whatever reason, my camera deleted this footage and I'm so irritated, but essentially what I did was just measure what was missing at the bottom to connect it from the ceiling to the floor to make sure it's fully covered. So I just cut that little piece and then I no sewed glued it to the bottom and covered it up with a piece of skinny black ribbon. This gives the illusion that the bathroom is much larger and that that ugly shower door is not there. Last but not least, add a good faux plant that you don't have to worry about. These are tips and tricks that I actually utilize. Well, obviously if I'm making a tutorial, but if you do something different, comment it down below. I'm very interested because I always love hosting tips. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I linked everything that I could down below if you'd like to purchase it. I'm not getting any kind of anything from it, but I thought I'd share. See you Sunday for another DIY.